Hello my friends, welcome to meal number one. So today we got something real simple. I got my two eggs, I got the almond flour wraps. Both of these combined is 190 calories. The eggs are seven calories each. It's not too crazy. Remember, we are trying to cut. We're not gonna go too crazy with our breakfast, not just yet. So we're gonna go ahead and crack our eggs. Ooh. We're gonna preheat our stove you got your seasoning on the side here you could add whatever you want to your eggs this is just my preference so we're basically making egg wraps something nice easy and quick we're gonna whisk our eggs now it's fine let's turn this bad boy up so you can either put light butter or you can put some Pam spray, whatever you want to do to make sure it doesn't really stick. I will be going with some light butter. I have like a little bit of butter left, so I'm just gonna use the rest of this. So you could use any other tortilla you want. You don't have to use the almond one. I just feel like this one's a little bit more healthier. So I went this route. But again, you could use any other ones that you would like. I'm sure there's some other healthy ones out there as well. Again, it's uh, your preference. You could tweak this however you want. Let's go ahead and throw our eggs in here. Raise this up a little bit more. I like to just keep this moving. And now we got our eggs. This is how it looks when it's all done. So we're gonna take this off to the side. For your wraps, you could use whatever condiments you guys want. I'm gonna use light mayo. I'm not gonna use too much. There we go. And now I'm just gonna wrap it. This may not come out pretty, but hey, I don't work at Chipotle, so cut me some slack, all right? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's put our egg on this one. I'm gonna add a little tabanero sauce on the last one. Just get a little taste. And then we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up too. And then we're just gonna place it on our pan, put it on medium, medium heat or low, and just let it sit for a little bit, a couple minutes each side until it's golden, and then you'll be golden. All right, now we're gonna flip this bad boy over. Ooh. And look at that, we are good to go. So here we have it, here's how it looks. It's not too big, that's why I'll be drinking this to help me increase the protein intake. So the macros for this entire meal is 490 calories, 24 grams of carbs, 19 grams of fat, two grams of sugar, and 48 grams of protein. And this is meal one, considered my breakfast. I've been having late mornings this entire week, so I haven't been able to cram all my meals in one day. When I say all my meals, I mean four to like five meals. That's how many meals I would really like to have in one day. All low calorie meals, high protein meals. But luckily we have a whole entire month to cram that in. So this is the meal right here for meal one. I'll catch you guys at meal two. So welcome to meal number two. We got our two chicken breasts here, diced up, cut up, however you guys wanna do it. We got our whisk eggs right here, and then we got our little breadcrumbs over here. For the breadcrumbs, I'm using these protein chips from Costco. I don't even know how to pronounce the name. I'll just show it to you guys. The macros on these are good. So I basically have two servings of the chips. I literally counted out how many chips equal the serving and I poured it into the bag and I got here. So this is the extra and this is what we're gonna use for now. I'm gonna add some of the tabanero sauce. If you haven't checked it out already, make sure you do. I'll leave my promo code on the screen. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here just to give it some flavor. Go ahead and mix that up. And now we're gonna season our chicken breast. You know I have to use the best seasoning on the market. We're gonna use all purpose and chili lime. Make sure you guys check these out. And then I got some salt and pepper back here. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil. If you guys do try out Tabanero, let me know what you guys like the most. My favorite sauce from them is the spicy agave. Let me know what you guys like if you guys try it out and make sure you use my promo code one more. I'll leave the website down in the description below. I don't know about you guys, but I like my chicken seasoned. I'm playing no games. And now we're just gonna get our hands dirty. Make sure everything is nice and seasoned. There we go, that looks good. So we got our air fryer ready. Make sure you guys spray your pan. I almost forgot. We got our first one, this little guy right here. Toss him around. Just put it on 
the side. I realize what might be a little bit easier is just to, after you whisk it, just toss all of them in the bag. So that's what I'm about to do, instead of just pressing them down right there. So this is how they all turned out. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer for 350, maybe 20 minutes. I'm gonna flip at the halfway mark. So I'm gonna flip around 10 or eight minutes just to see how they come out, just to make sure they're not burnt. And let's see how they come out. So while the chicken's in the air fryer, I'm gonna mix some of my favorite sauces all together just so I can coat the chicken tenders when they get out. So we are still currently on meal two, but I'm gonna prepare meal three. So I'll be making a protein Oreo frosting. I got my two yogurts. I'm gonna use a, one full yogurt and I'm gonna use a half of the other. This is Greek yogurt, by the way. You uh, don't know what this is, make sure you check out my other videos where I do talk about this. I actually have a video where I do a, a review on this yogurt. Stacked with protein, it's low calorie, can't really go wrong with this. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and dump the yogurt into a little bowl. Now we're gonna take a scoop of our Legion casein protein. This is a French vanilla flavor. You use whatever flavor you want, obviously. I'm just gonna take a cup and I'm just gonna pour it right in. There we go. And then we're just gonna mix it nice and slow. Casein protein is a lot thinner than your other protein, you might realize. And we're gonna take a little bit of our almond milk. You could also use whatever milk you want. Remember, we are trying to cut weight, but we're also trying to, you know, make our food fun. We're trying to eat healthy foods, and we're trying to make sure it tastes good at the same time. So if you want your frosting to be really, really thick, you put less milk. You know what I'm saying? If you want it to be less thick, and you put more milk. So we're just gonna put a little bit. You might have to add more milk, which is fine. So I'm making too much of a mess, so I'm just gonna switch over to a bigger bowl. And you're literally just gonna keep mixing until it becomes the texture that you are satisfied with. But this looks like a good enough consistency. Let me show you guys, look at this. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our Oreo thins, we're gonna take four. And I'm using thins because you know, obviously less calories than the normal ones. I'm gonna go ahead and crush four in. After you put your Oreos in and you mix everything together, you got two options. You could either put it in the freezer for 30 minutes or you could put it in the fridge overnight. I'm going to put it in the fridge because I'll be eating this in a couple, couple hours. So I'm not gonna, I don't want it to be too frozen. Mix. And it's still kind of a little too thick for my liking. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more. And obviously I'm using almond milk, less calories. And we're gonna top the last two Oreos after we take it from the fridge. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, let it chill for a little bit, and I'll eat this in a couple hours for meal number three. There you go. Here we have it. Take a look at that. Jeez, us. Damn, that looks good, man. The reason why I'm not eating this with any greens like I normally do is because I probably would not be able to finish it. This is gonna be a lot for me, but we're gonna get it done. Remember, this is the chicken, two bites of chicken, combined with two servings of the protein chips that I use. So we're sitting at 500 calories, 16 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat, one gram of sugar, and 62 grams of protein. 62 grams of protein all on this plate right here. That's not bad. I gotta call my boy Shane. The last time we did this, I burnt the chicken. Yo, Yo. look. Oh, look at five. Ooh, it's a lot better than the last time we did it. I see. Yes, sir. Will you, will you turn the, the heat down? Yeah, I turned the heat down and then I actually washed it this time and I flipped it on like last time. Yeah, say what's up to the channel, man. Yo, what's good, channel? <laughs> like and subscribe that video. Yup. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave your your thing down below down here, bro. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. All right. So like and subscribe. P.S. He is my cameraman. But yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs>
If you want to see his work, check out the Marine video I did. That's him behind the lens. But yeah, bro, I just want to hit you up. Catch you guys at Mill 3. Last but not least, we have Mill 3. Look at this. That thing looks so fire. Oh my God. Like I said, you know, you add more milk, it'll be uh, it'll be less thick. I'll read you guys the macros on this. This has 395 calories, 34 grams of carbs, six grams of fat, 20 grams of sugar, and 50 grams of protein. 50 grams of protein in this thing. It only has six grams of fat. You would think something that tastes good has a lot of fat, but it's not bad. So today, with everything I've eaten today, puts me at 1,385 calories, 74 grams of carbs, 45 grams of fat, 23 grams of sugar, and 160 grams of protein. That's a lot of calories. The goal was to stay under 15, so that was close. We were cutting it close there, but I'm gonna finish this off and then I'm gonna get a workout after and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I hope some of these uh, recipes I know this is still early in the challenge, but I hope some of these recipes are helping you guys out if you are looking for ways to eat healthy, but you know, we're gonna make sure it tastes good. But anyways, make sure you guys subscribe. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos that will be coming out, and I will catch you guys on the next one. We are out. My jumper is water. Bad, give me one more. Got a clean rep, give me one more. Got a Prezi Jet Mount Rushmore. One more set, need one more. Got a bad, give me one more. Got a clean rep, give me one more. Got a Prezi Jet Mount Rushmore. One more set, need one more. Yeah.